my um, remit for today is to talk about um, tissue level implants in the aesthetic zone. This is quite a contentious issue considering that everybody these days wants to place bone level implants and they seem to be very much in fashion. I'm going to talk uh, quite a bit about the surgical perspectives and uh, prosthetic solutions, but more importantly, I'm going to take a view from the long-term outcome point of view. What I'm intending to cover in this presentation is to look at the advantages of tissue-level implants and then primarily focus on the uh, tissue-level implants in the aesthetic zone and their use in aesthetic zone. We will cover um, in terms of if there are any advantages of using tissue-level implants when we come to bone regeneration, and uh, more specifically, uh, go into the details of how the narrow diameter tissue-level implant could be used to our advantage. Now, this is the question for me to try and address, and uh, hopefully, I'm hoping that by the time I finish my presentation, that I I'm able to convince you that the tissue level implant isn't a beast after all. That little collar there that we're worried about is not a beast and that we can achieve good outcomes. The problem is here. Uh, this is what the criticism is, that a tissue level implant in the aesthetic zone can cause problems. And that is true. That is true if our implants are not in the correct position and it is more often a surgical or a clinician-driven mistake than it being the implant itself. Certainly, when you look at this case, the problem is not the collar. The problem is the position of the implant.